Have a nice day. They just paid for their coffee with a credit card. And that reminds me, I should really tell you all about carding. Carding is using someone's credit, debit, or payment cards without the cardholder's permission. It's a type of theft. One way of getting your details is called skimming. You hand over your card to someone to make a payment. Missed it? Let me show you. You have a nice day now. So that's skimming. And boom, just like that, I've got your deets. The next technique is accessing the information through Carter Forms. Yep, that's right. There are online forms where card information is readily available to buy. It gets sold in packages, much like how securities are traded in the market. Identity theft is another way this can happen. And in this digital age, I think this is something many people are fearful of. Also, when it happens, it can be super lucrative for fraudsters, as it's often not one individual at a time, but more of an industrial scale. Why do carters do what they do? Well, there's the obvious one. Having card details from someone means you can spend their money which means either free stuff or the ability to acquire high value items for resale. Ka-ching, turns those card payments into actual cash. So what do you do if you see weird transactions on your bank statement? A couple things. You immediately contact your bank or card provider and you get that card shut down, stop continued use by the fraudster. Second, you need to initiate a chargeback dispute. Do that with your bank as fast as possible so you can get your money back. But and here's the rub. During a chargeback, someone has to lose out, and that is the bank or merchant the card was used at. Simply put, customer files a chargeback, it's investigated by the bank and the merchant, and assuming it's fraud, the customer gets their money back. But depending on liability rules, either the bank or merchant will take the financial hit. So it's definitely in their interest to squash this menace right when it happens. The law in some countries makes companies keep their reported fraud rates low. So having anti-fraud specialists who look for this kind of crime and stop it before it happens, well, that's a growing solution. Diligence, fast reporting, and anti-fraud monitoring are all ways to mitigate card risk. Now, if you're not gonna buy anything, can you please leave? <laughs>